So to start off on the first project, I take this year of first sign from Dollar Tree and I take these pieces of poplar that I get from Home Depot for around $2 and some change or $3 a piece. So I take two of those and lay them side by side on the sign and then I had some scrap pieces from different projects and I just kind of measure how long I need the middle pieces to be and I cut down three of those pieces as well as cut the longer pieces down to 26 inches each. Once I had them cut, then I sanded them down. I laid them out the way that I wanted them, and then I take some large popsicle sticks. I cut those in fours, so I cut them in half, and then I cut them in half again, and then I just use some hot glue to attach these on the corners to hold these pieces together. Then laid my sign down so that I could have this middle piece um, in the right spot and then once I had that in its spot that I liked then I just repeated those steps. So you guys know my little Bella is right here next to me so if you hear baby babble that's why she's just hanging out here watching me do this um, but I did just lay out the sign to make sure that's where I wanted it and then I took 12 large stir sticks that I get in pack of threes for a dollar from the Home Depot as well I wanted a very tight fit so I did measure and then cut these just a few times to make sure that they fit in there really nice and then I cut them obviously I painted the frame white and then I painted six of the cut stir sticks white and six of the cut stir sticks with my crimson Waverly chalk paint leaving just a little bit of that wood showing through so it's kind of like a reverse distressing that way it looks nice and weathered and old and rustic the way that I like it um, but in the meantime Prior to painting these red, I did take some acrylic Waverly paint in that blue color. I forget the exact color, but it wasn't as dark as I would have liked it. I wanted like, I was going for like a navy color, so I did just add a touch of ink Waverly chalk paint just to deepen that blue color. And then I went in with a little bit of darker blue while the paint was still wet, and I gave it just like some distressing and it just gave it some dimension and some character. Next, I take my star cutout chalk couture transfers and look how beautiful that transfer is. But I did go ahead and cut those up so that I can use them. And I also took these stars that I got out of a huge package of just random wood pieces from Dollar Tree and I painted those stars white and I do believe that I used 10 stars. Next, I take the transfer that I want, which is a star with a whole bunch of like patriotic words, and I fuzz that transfer until you think that you fuzzed it enough, and then fuzz it some more. That way it doesn't pull up your paint, or it doesn't stretch your transfer when you pull that up. And I went ahead and I transferred that on with some white chalk paste as well as gold shimmer paste. Now, I know I'm going to get flack in the comments because I do use Chalk Couture throughout this entire video, but number one, you guys, I invested in these products. I believe in these products. I found an easy way to achieve high-end looking decor, and I found it to where anybody can do it so you don't have to be a pro so I'm sorry but I'm going to use them and if it wasn't for Chalk Couture I would have never gotten this video out to you guys this week if I had to print these off and then um, you know trace them on and go over it I would have ran out of time and I want to bring you guys like decor DIYs and I want to do it efficiently so this helps me do that but I will try to leave 
free printables in the description box below. For those of you who can't afford it, I do recommend these. They're amazing for everybody, but I do understand that not everybody can afford it. So when I can, I will leave free printables in the description box that is as close to these designs as I can get. Um, but with all that being said, I did go ahead and glue that sign down and then I took my stars and I glue them all the way around the star. Next, I flip it over. I forgot to mention that I did end up putting this paper in the back of the sign because it was literally sticking to everything and driving me nuts. So I did want to put that disclaimer out there. Um, but once I had all that put together, then I do take our stir sticks and I just go back and forth from red to white. So I alternate them and I do put them on an angle, kind of make, or <laughs> here we go, you guys, famous line of Melissa. Um, I do alternate them and I put them kind of like a shutter so on an angle I, that's the look I was going for making this bottom part look like a shutter and I am so pleased with the way this turned out I'm not big into Americana or 4th of July decor but I did want to step outside of the box this year and try it I asked on my community tab you guys said yes do it so here we are and I love the way that this turned out I did distress the edges with some antique wax by Waverly just to bring out those edges and make it look antiquey and weathered and I could not be more thrilled with the way these with the way this turned out so I know you'll let me know in the comments down below what you think